A cable legend raises a possible red flag on the Comcast NBC deal. Thanks Tweeting Week continues, and ABC Family wants you to be one of Santa's elves. It's all ahead and much more as the TV news starts right now. This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Tuesday, November 24th, as Thanks Tweeting Week continues. That means that every day this week, even over the Thanksgiving holiday, we'll present new TV concepts in new media with Stan Melton Jr. Now tomorrow, you get a single report, but on Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday, get set for nothing but Stan. Here now is today's top story. Cable TV czar and Liberty Media chairman John Malone has weighed in on the Comcast NBC deal. Malone is cautiously optimistic that the deal will ultimately get done, but in a CNBC interview, he identified what could be an unforeseen and significant hurdle. Malone believes that to gain government approval, the deal will have to be blessed by the NBC affiliates, and therein lies the problem. The real issue is about localism. It's about broadcast affiliates locally, whether or not that model is viable or whether everything's going to go to a cable network type structure, affiliate fee, uh, will the network share what they can extract from the distributors with the local affiliates and therefore underwrite their economics, or will they be a, a largely abandoned? Malone seems to be indicating that NBC affiliates may be asked to sort of ratify what could ultimately be their own demise. But as for now, Vivendi and GE remain stalemated regarding the fair valuation of Vivendi's 20% stake in NBC. More on the TV deal of the decade as it develops, or doesn't. And the TV News wants to congratulate Michael J. Fox, who will be receiving the NAB's Distinguished Service Award next April. The NAB has cited Fox's commitment in raising awareness of and raising contributions to combat Parkinson's disease. Well deserved and well done, Michael J. Fox. We wish you the very, very best. And just in time for the kickoff of the holiday season, can you imagine New York's Bryant Park filled to the brim with Santa's elves? Well, it's going to happen on December 7th as ABC Family goes for a Guinness World Record for the largest single assembly of Santa's elves. The stunt is aimed at promoting the ABC Family original holiday movie, Santa Baby 2, Christmas Maybe, as well as ABC Family's annual 25 Days of Christmas. So if you're in the city and anywhere near Bryant Park before noon on December 7th, show up and be a record-setting elf. Oh, and you even get to keep the elf costume. Such a holiday deal. And if you saw Sunday Night Football, You'll know why the Chicago Bears' Devin Hester is now the butt of jokes around the NFL. Worse than this, the pass was incomplete, and Hester was cited for backfield in motion, and that could give a whole new meaning to the term tight end. Okay, I'll stop now. As promised, the TV News exclusive Thanks Tweeting Week continues as we present the encore installment of Stan Melton Jr.'s new TV concepts, in new media. New Concepts in New Media is brought to you by Brown Bag, a creative boutique. See what Brown Bag can do for you at brownbagdc.com. Aw, oh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Well, with all the back and forth flirting, a trashy tabloid is reporting that Big J journalism hearts social media. Okay, so the tabloid part isn't true. It's actually a reputable survey, but the rest is true. In fact, seven out of 10 professional journalists report using social networks to assist in reporting. This is a huge jump over last year when only four in 10 said they turned to social media for assistance. The survey found that seven in 10 rely on company websites for information, and nearly the same number seek out blogs for facts. Slightly more than half turn to Wikipedia, with nearly half seeking out online video postings. Nearly 5 in 10 rely on Twitter and other microblogging platforms. So why are so many journalists going online for the get? 
Well, like everybody else, reporters have way less help than they used to while having to produce more content for far more platforms than before. They find social media to be much faster for answers than traditional online or offline paths. In fact, 9 out of 10 surveyed strongly agree or somewhat agree that social media is enhancing journalism. So, if you're a journalist not using social media, you are probably working much harder than you need to. If you're a PR and marketing pro, social media represents a vital new path to attract media attention for your customer. What's that? Oh, sorry. Uh, it seems that former Governor Palin has posted something new on her Facebook page. I gotta go. Remember, Thanks Tweeting Week continues tomorrow with a single edition of New TV Concepts and New Media. And then, on Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday, it's nothing but Stan here on the TV News. This TV News exclusive brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Although it's Tuesday, we ran out of time yesterday, so we're doubling back on our regular Monday Funday TV trivia quiz, where you can win a free billboard for your company right here in this slot. Now here's today's question, and it's aimed at you sports types. The scene, Monday Night Football. The year, 1983. The man, Howard Cosell. The question, what perceived racial slur did Cosell lob at the Washington Redskins' Alvin Garrett? Be the first to email us with your answer to Monday Funday at the TVnews.tv and you'll win. Good luck to everyone. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. The 2010 Nappy Marketing Conference is but two months away. It happens January 25th through the 27th in Las Vegas. Uh-huh, it's Vegas, baby. To start the registration process, log on to natbymarket.com. Hey, did you know that Promax BDA memberships can be had for as low as $199? Such a deal. Promax BDA is the industry organization for TV and new media promotion, marketing, and design pros. To learn more about becoming a Promax BDA member, log on to promaxbda.org. And the preliminary schedule is now out for the 2010 cable show. For your sneak peek at what's happening at next May's cable show, log on to 2010.thecableshow.com. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back tomorrow with the only daily video newscast about the TV industry for the TV industry. And remember, Thanks Tweeting Week continues all week long. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And if you want to know more about sponsorship availabilities with the TV News, please email us at advertising at the TV news .tv. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching. And go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.